Hi everybody and welcome to another cup of coffee. Today I am joined by Kola Tubosun and he is the founder of YorubaName.com. I'll leave him to tell you a bit more about it. So what's YorubaName.com Kola? Um, it's a dictionary of Yoruba names, the place online where you can find any Yoruba name uh, that you're looking for. Maybe you want to give a Yoruba name to a child, you can go there to search for a name to give to a child. Um, it's also a place where you can put names that you know, uh, that whose meaning you know and you want to put it to. Amazing stuff, that is fantastic. The whole concept is the fact that a lot of people have names that they don't actually know what they mean and it's about sharing that knowledge and actually saying, you know what, this is your name, this is what it means. And I think so much of the meaning of names. For example, Kola, what did your name mean? Kola Wale, the whole meaning is uh, the one who brings wealth to the house. That's what my parents I like say. that, and I it's, like that. It's a name typically given to a male child or a house built by the parents. So they, they, they believe that I was one who brought all the wealth to the house. I love that. I want some colour in my life so I can have some wealth, okay? Okay! But well, that's fantastic. And my full name is Kafilat, and that means servant-hearted. And I truly believe that it's so important to know the meaning of your name because it gives something to your character. I mean, if someone's calling you bringer of wealth from the minute you're zero, you're one years old, to the minute you're 40 or 50, I'm pretty sure that's going to come true. So I'm saying, yeah, you're the bringer of wealth, you're the bringer of wealth, yeah, come over, bringer of wealth. You're going to bring wealth into people's lives. And my name is Kathy Lack. I'm servant-hearted and I wouldn't go around saying, oh yeah, I'm a servant, I'm a servant, but I feel happiest and I feel most at peace when I'm serving others and when I'm helping others. I absolutely love it. So what does your name mean? We'll break for a commercial break, okay, and we'll be back soon. So Colin's been in London for the past couple of weeks and he's just been enjoying himself. Tell us about it. Um, yes, I've been here for a couple of uh, more than a week now, mm -hmm. and I've uh, had fun, I've uh, gotten lost, i uh, found myself. As you do in London. <laughs> yes, I have um, been duped of 10, 10 pounds. Oh my gosh, yes, he has to tell you about that. Please tell that for the camera. Really... Tell him what happened, and if this has ever happened to you, you can feel the pain. Okay, so um, I ran into this gentleman who spoke French, who said he was looking for some African. There were so many people walking across the road and he said I was an African and he wanted to talk to me. He was, said he was stranded oh and he was on the way to France and there was a bus that was going to take him there and needed a few coins uh, to get him there. So I looked into my purse and all I had was a 10 pound note and I said, okay, well, this is a, an African guy who's stranded He's in London and here for a few days. I can just help one person and make him happy. With a good heart. With a good heart. He, with a good heart, he gave him. Ten pound notes. <laughs> Tell us what happened next, Colour. <laughs> Tell us what happened next. And then I, I went to work and then on my way back in the evening, in inside the station, which was just a few feet away from where I saw the last time, he was gonna run into me again and ask me for money. He had been doing that to other people because I was walking out and I saw it in my head. And then when he saw me, he saw that I was the same person and then he quickly turned around and, and walked away and I fell. I thought I was being nice and apparently he was he was he, he probably just thought that so. Jack, but I won from some African oh, people but, these days. Yeah, mm. uh, I think I was I was taken by the French, the French language. I must have been mm. just uh, yeah taken in by the, the fact that somebody else speaks a different language in a different city. Maybe it's it's serendipity that we're going to meet and we're going to help him out. Oh. See, he took advantage of Colin's good nature, the good heart, and us language lovers, he, he, he drew even on that, the fact that Colin's a lo language lover, I'm a language lover, um, and he got duped of £10, and has, it's happened to me before as well, um, I would love to hear your stories, what's happened to you when you've been out and about, and maybe someone's tricked you into giving them money, someone's done something that perhaps they shouldn't have, I would love to hear about it, I'm really sorry that happened to you, on behalf of the UK population, all of the British people, all of the Londoners on earth, I apologise for that happening to you. Right. We should go find you. Let's do this baby. Thank you so much for coming.
coming on the show today sharing yorubaname.com if you are yoruba if you have a yoruba name go and find out what your name means and if your name isn't on there add it to the dictionary even if you don't know the name the meaning of the name write your name in and they will find it out for you it's a really fantastic thing it's a really amazing website so go and check it out this is a cup of coffee for today stay tuned for next week's episode and i'll see you then peace thanks for coming thank you very much bye <laughs>